Canadian PM Justin Trudeau will reportedly brief President Biden next month on the influx of asylum seekers coming into Canada, many originating from the U.S. southern border. As thousands enter the country through a passageway known as Roxham Road, an unofficial crossing in upstate New York, which is a legal loophole Trudeau is looking to close. Here to react, House Oversight Committee member Pat Fallon. Uh, Congressman, thank you so much for being with us. So, um, Justin Trudeau, border hawk in Canada. They're going to they're gonna build a wall? <laughs> Well, yeah, him and Eric Adams, it's funny and ironic when you see these hard left wingers suddenly <laughs> uh, become rule of law uh, when it comes, they find the rule of law when it comes to immigration policies when it, it just, they, they have to, they're experiencing a flood. You know, um, it's it's always, and as you point out, it's it's a little bit um, bittersweet or, or uh, justice to see Eric Adams or Justin Trudeau look and go, well, now it's affecting us. Um, but what, mm -hmm. what do you think will be the result of that meeting between Trudeau and Biden? It's like a domino reverse reversing itself. You know, that domino should keep going in past our southern border back to the point of origin for these Ill illegal immigrants. Well, Joe Biden has done one thing. He's shown that he has absolutely no desire or stomach whatsoever to enforce the rule of law and actually secure our southern border. And you can tell, well, with the tell of the tape, I mean, this January was 156,000 illegal border crossings, which is the worst, worst January we've ever had on record. But that's very deceptive. It was more like 256,000 because they are now telling folks from Haiti, Cuba, Nicaragua, Venezuela, that we're going to parole you, just come through a port of entry. So that's not a real number. The last 10 months before January were all over 200,000. And we had never had a month in our history of over 200,000 illegal border crossings. And you can go on and on. There's been 5.8 million folks when you conclude the known gotaways and the encounters that have crossed our southern border under Joe Biden's watch. And we don't even know who these folks are. 160 countries. And then mm -hmm. fentanyl seizures are on the rise. And, and, for, and of course, and unfortunately, we've had 108,000 American deaths due to opioid overdoses. Uh, Congressman, I want to ask you about something else. You guys, uh, the GOP is planning through House Oversight to look into, unmask Hunter Biden's anonymous art buyers. Um, it's obviously, <laughs> talk about loopholes, it's a potential place where, of course, influence could be wielded. Who's buying this art, right? Is it a backdoor channel to the Biden administration? So far, you haven't been able to get the names of these art buyers. Do you think you can find out who's buying Hunter Biden's art? Yeah, I think we, we, you know, now when you have the power of the subpoena, of course, that's the court of last resort, as it were. But we are finally, you know, have that power and are in charge uh, of the House committees. So here's the thing, though, and this is at the, at the bottom line with the Biden family uh, business dealings. If you have nothing to hide, then simply cooperate. and We can wrap this investigation up in a couple of weeks. But, you know, there's been 150 suspicious activity reports generated by U.S. financial institutions on the Biden family. And Congress traditionally got access to those until Joe Biden became president. So they're fighting us at every turn. And you have to ask yourself why. Yeah, that's, I mean, act suspicious and arouse suspicion. Um, let us know who's buying Hunter Biden's art. And then we can look into whether or not they're getting any quid pro quo on the backside for, which, by the way, I think it's really expensive art as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and, and well, I don't think it's, well, I don't think it's very good art either. It's, it, you know, I share your opinion. It's subjective, but let's find out who thinks it's so great. Uh, Congressman Pat yeah. Fallon, uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.